Silver. Jamie could not stop thinking about dogs. Like many other boys, he loved all animals. But his love for cats and birds was not so strong as it was for dogs. He stopped going to school with Cora in the morning because she did not want to wait with him for the old man and his greyhound. Jamie waited for them near the square every morning, even when it rained. It was a terrible day for him when they did not come. He was a little afraid of the old man, so he did not say hello to him when he saw him. He only stood and looked at Silver. How wonderful the dog was! How beautiful! Days and weeks passed, and one morning the old man suddenly asked Jamie, Why aren't you at school? Jamie was so surprised that he could not say a word. Of course, he was not interested in the old man, but he was very much interested in the dog. So, he patted him. But he saw that the dog was afraid of him. He did not even look at Jamie. Three weeks passed. April was almost over, and one Saturday morning, Jamie decided that he must speak to the old man again. I'll ask him some questions about the dog, he thought. I hope he will answer me. Then I'll ask him to let me take Silver for a walk sometimes. That will be wonderful. But I won't take him to the square. I'll take him to Hyde Park. He remembered how he liked to watch people with their dogs on Sunday morning in the park. Of course, he was more interested in boys who had dogs. The boys threw balls into the lake, and the dogs ran into the water and brought the balls back. The boys shouted and played with their dogs. I'd like to do all those things with my own dog, he thought. Of course, I'm not sure that Silver will want to play with me. He's not like other dogs. He won't play games like that. That is because he lives with an old man. If he likes me and goes out with me, he will be different, I'm sure. He will be young again. I must ask the old man how old he is. Next Saturday, when he saw the old man and his dog, Jamie went up to them and said, May I ask you a question, sir? Please, sir, how old is Silverlight? The old man looked surprised. How do you know my dog's name? he said. You told me his name long ago, said Jamie. I don't remember. I'm surprised that you remember it. Of course, sir, he's such a beautiful dog. How could I forget his name? The old man began to walk again, and Jamie walked behind him. How old is he? he asked again. The old man did not answer Jamie's question. He said, So you like dogs? Aren't you the kid who comes here every day? Why aren't you at school? Jamie was very glad. The old man remembered him. That's right, he said, every day. Well, why do you come? To see Silver Light, of course. It's a terrible day for me when I don't see him. I want to see him every day, sir. Why? said the old man. What is there so wonderful in my dog that you have to see him every day? Well, I don't know, said Jamie slowly. He couldn't explain why he loved the dog. The old man will laugh at me, thought Jamie. He will not understand me. I don't know, said Jamie. I just like to see him. I've never seen a greyhound before. So, said the old man, you are interested in my dog. Yes, said Jamie. Very. And you want to know how old he is? Yes, I want to know everything about him. The old man smiled. Jamie was surprised. He was sure that the old man never smiled. 
You are like me when I was a boy, he said. I liked to be with dogs. They were not always friendly and beat me many times. I wasn't interested in reading like many other boys. It was only dogs and horses for me. Jamie listened and watched the greyhound. The old man began to talk about the horses in the First World War, how they loved masters and how they died with them. They were friends of men, like dogs. Jamie was sorry for the old man. I think he's lonely, he thought. He needs a friend, so he keeps a dog. Well, said the old man at last, I have to go now, young man. We must meet again sometime. Oh, yes, said Jamie. If you want me to take Silver for a walk, I'll do my best. I'll take good care of him. He looked down at his shoes. He will say no, he thought. Of course he will say no. Where can you take him? The old man wanted to know. Jamie looked up at him, full of hope now. I can take him to the park. It's so nice there in spring. All right, said the old man. Take him to the park. It is not so easy for me to go there now. I'm old. Old. And again, Jamie was very sorry for the old man. When can you go there? asked the old man. Tomorrow? Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning? Sunday morning? It was wonderful. The old man said yes. Jamie could not sleep that night. He waited for the morning. His head was full of thoughts about the next day and he could not stop smiling.